Okay, so I'll write what type of methods you want. I'll ship this entire code to one of the method. So last, uh, so conditional statements, we have written a non-static methods, right? So let's write a static methods here then. Private static wide print one two ten using while loop. So that's the logic. So just call this starting method. How can you call in the main method? Just with the method name. Just with the method name. So the method name is this one. So that's it. Now you can call. Okay. So the next program is I want to print. Even numbers in one to hundred. How can you print? So that is what I'm going to do that. So print, write a program to print. Even numbers from one to hundred using while loop. So let's write uh, static wide print even numbers using while. Okay. So Started executing a So first initialization, again, one while. So condition is i less than or equal to 100. So but 1 to 100, there are even numbers and odd numbers, both, right? Then how can you decide? So how can you filter this uh, even numbers? Percentile by two equals to zero. And no, no, equals that's zero. what you need to put if condition, okay? Loop yeah. inside if condition. So I percentile by two double equal to zero. Then you can say it's a even number. Just print that. So even numbers. Just I'll use uh, print method because I'll just you know print slash t so then so i'll increment the i will so i plus plus i plus plus see now you can see what will happen Every time it will execute. Just call this method. So just first compile the code, then run the code. What happened? Hundred something mistake. What 
why only it is executing this one? I'll come and draw this. Let's see what is the reason. First to compile. Maybe we didn't compile properly. Hmm? Java C, okay. So and uh, Java C only we used like. Uh... Ah. See here, all the even numbers are printed. Okay, see all even numbers are printed 1 to 100. So the exercise for you is print odd numbers from 50 to 1. So make a note. Write a program to print odd numbers from 50 to 1. Clear? Are you guys clear? Yeah, Ramesh. Enough. You want you can just do some okay. So next one. I want to print capital A to capital Z alphabets. How can you print? So let's go do that program protected. Static, wide, print, capital A to capital Z, using, while. Next. So capital A to capital Z you want to print. So first initialization will be character C equal to capital A. So you say A is a character, right? That's why I declared a character. While C less than or equal to Z. So then print the C value and also just give one space. Then, then just increment the I C value, not I will C. Next, bring the cursor to after printing all the values, bring the cursor to next line and just sys out. So just Separating, just separating so to see the end of this method. So, any questions here? So, let's call this uh, program. And I'll write one more program, then we can uh, do that. So, next program is I want to print the ASCII codes of capital A to capital Z. I want to print. So let me write all this uh, clearly. So write a program to 
print capital A to capital Z alphabets using while loop. So next, so write a program to print capital A to capital Z as key codes using while. So public static wide print capital A to capital Z ASCII quotes one minute Okay, so ASCII code means it's an integer number, right? So you have to uh, see the integer numbers we need to print. Start executing the so and just to understand where my cursor is, so that's why I'm doing a print statements. So then, so int i r j equal to capital A. What will happen? When you assign a, a character to integer, what will happen? ASCII code will assign to that. Right? ASCII code will assign to, so that j value. So sys out. So J, I'm printing the J, then give the Y space. And J plus plus. <laughs> next. I'm bringing the cursor to next line. So just print all these uh, values. End of you know, I'm just separating okay method to method. End of this method. So let's call these methods, okay? Print. So you can get here as key code. First, I'll print A to Z. Uh, so these methods print. A to Z as key codes. That's it. Now, first clear the console at the terminal. Just do the Java C. Then run the Java. See all codes. A as key code is 65. B as key code is 66. C is 67. D is 68 like that okay so that's how you can execute all the ASCII yes. codes any questions no Ramesh yeah so the exercise for you is a little bit uh, tricky but not tricky. Try. I'm going to give three programs. So based on these concepts. So print a small z to a alphabets using while loop. That's one program. Can I take up the program? All these programs I will, I want to see tomorrow. Can you write a program to print a small z to a using while loop? And same, write a program to print small z to a ASCII codes using word loop.
नेक्स्ट राइट अ प्रोग्राम टू प्रिंट वन टू हंड्रेड विदउट यूजिंग नंबर्स Just think. You need to print one to hundred without using numbers. Numbers you should not use in your logic. Nowhere, because I'm I, here. I will assign a one like that, right? You should not do that. But without using numbers, you should print one to hundred. So here I used one and hundred, but you should not use one and hundred. Then how can you print one to hundred? Okay. By using while loop, uh, Ramesh. Yeah, while loop only because we are working on while loop. Try that with while loop. Mm. Ramesh, one is Z two A printing and second is one to hundred printing with. No, 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 no. ASCII codes two. One is uh, A to Z two. First, I given a so you are numbers one program. Can you please someone post this in our group chat so that uh, it will be easy. All the all our program. Whoever written just uh, yeah, post just the, to, yeah post in our chat. Thank you, this. Mm -hmm. Okay, so and another uh, program. First, you are numbers program fifty to one. Second program print Z to A one program Z to A ASCII codes another program and next program is print one to hundred without using numbers. Not fifty to one, sir. Fifty to one. Oh, it's a fifty to one, right? Uh, right, uh, right, right. Okay, okay, okay. Not hundred. Okay. So. In our WhatsApp group, you can post so that it will be uh, yeah. accessible for all. I wish you can add me to the WhatsApp group. So, uh, yeah. Post. Okay. Is it you using ASCII? Okay. Okay. Yeah, already so reposted. Done. Uh, Ramesh, I did not miss anything, right? Yeah. yeah, that's it. Yeah, those are the programs. Okay, let's do another program. Now, I want to print. So here, two programs are there. You have to understand properly. So you need to print. Sum of n numbers, sum of n natural numbers. So, what is the program? You have to print sum of n natural numbers. You have to return the sum. If n value you give 50, 1 to 50, you have to sum all the numbers. If you give 100, 1 to 100, it has to sum all the numbers. If you give 200, it has to sum all the numbers of 1 to 200. And the output should return so that. So, what type of method we need to create to if you want to return void method or uh, return type method? Hmm? You want to return the value, okay. what type of method I need to create? A return type. Okay. So, return type. So, this is the one program. And there is one more program. Print the, return the difference of sum and even, uh, sum of even odd numbers. You have to return the even number sum, odd number sum difference you have to return. So which program you want me to do, which program you will write. 
two programs here. One is write a program to return the n natural numbers sum. The, so you have to give an input. Provide input to the method. How can you provide your input to the method? This is the one program. So another program. So write a program to return the difference of even and odd sum for the given input number n. So which program you want me to do, which program you will do? Either is fine, Ramesh. Hmm? Either is fine. Either is fine. So yeah. I'll I'll write this one, okay? First one. So you write the second one, okay? Okay. So let's go to I need to write a return type method. See. Let's write return. Because this method is a I'm giving a parameter number. And I'm returning the sum of these numbers, all the numbers. So public. So I want to return integer value. So get sum. So you give the number. Number is, it's up to you what number you want to give. So what number you want to give, you take a decision. Okay. So first, so step is, first step, even, even this are here. First declare sum as a zero. The variable, sum variable, you declare as a zero. So int sum equal to zero. So there is no value at all. That's why I'm declaring. Then I initialize the value int i equal to one. Then while i less than or equal to number. So till uh, number I need to iterate. So less than or equal to number. Okay. Now you need to do a sum, sum equal to sum plus i. Each number I am adding to the previous sum value. And that I am assigning to this one. What is the shortcut for this? Can anyone tell me a shortcut for this? Sum plus is equals to i. Yeah, excellent. Sum plus equal to i. The shortcut. So all this we covered in the basics uh, you know, operators time. Or uh, even some plus plus that do Ramesh. Mm -hmm. Some plus plus. No, some plus plus means it's increment operator. Mm -hmm. That doesn't you know, count. Some uh, okay. Uh, why okay i'm getting confused i plus plus means i is equal to i plus one okay okay got it got it okay i okay, got it. i'm getting i'm getting it i got confused oh. thanks thanks ramesh yeah so now what we need to do logic i have written but i need to increment the i value right let's increment the i value these steps you should not forget so logic then increment the i value that's a body loop while loop body so done now, return the sum, final sum value, return it. Mm -hmm. Same you do here, 
so here is the both sum is there but here you have to differentiate even sum odd sum both you have to take two different variables here don't take one variable you need to get the even sum and odd sum right two sums you have to get then only can differentiate then you subtract and you will get the difference you got the point why yeah, you want to take two way. different variables here even sum you have to get odd sum you have to get don't write two different programs in the same program only in the same while loop only you separate even sum and odd sum you know how to separate even and odd numbers right we already did same mm -hmm. in the same while loop only you have to separate here just condition only you add so i have given the entire logic also is it clear hmm rajeshwari yes ramesh ami ya ramesh okay pretty clear so let's call this how to call the return type return type static method hmm here that value needs to get assigned to some variable, variable. right yeah print sum val equal to get sum i'll just put uh first uh, 10 numbers okay let me execute how it is you want me to run one by one so that that really helps you to execute one by one it really helps you just try it out okay then print the value Let's compile. Then run this. See, so fifty-five is the sum of ten natural numbers. It's <laughs> see if I don't uh, compile. So I change it now, right? To ten, it won't print that one. So it is not printing that. Oh, it 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 has taken super then. We're good, but sometimes it won't take. But always compile. So compile is very important step. So this is the Java file. This is the bytecode file. Dart class file is having bytecode, right? The bytecode file. So that's it and one more last program we'll do let's finish that also then tomorrow we'll write the do while loop programs so i want to print n factorial value i want to return a n factorial value just return the write a program to print or to return n factorial well i hope you all know n factorial means right n factorial means n multiply by n minus 1 multiply by n minus 2 and so on till 1 right that's a n factorial so What is zero factorial value? One. One. Excellent. So now I need to give an input. Okay. So I'll give a one number. Then I have to return. So I have to return the factorial value. So let's go and return the factorial value. Public. Static. So int. 
get factorial. into number. So this is also similar, just to declare first uh, factorial value as a one initially. Then, uh, so initialize the I, J value one and while, so J less than or equal to number, okay. So then, so fact equal to fact multiply by z that's it and increment the z value j plus plus then return that so return fact that's a simple uh, factorial value so this is also i can print directly in the print statement okay instead of uh, storing in a variable So, five factorial values and uh, get factorial five. So, what is a five factorial? So, what should we get? Five uh, times four one times one. three times two times one. So it's 120 you should get. Same, are you getting or not? Let's check that. So first compile, then run it. See? Oh, oh it's missing. We didn't call the, I mean. Call I called, it. right? Get factor. Yeah. I call the method. So not compiled properly. Maybe. Still we are not getting. Very strange. Let me comment out all this. Strange. Let's <laughs> comment them. Can we run from like in menu bar? From menu bar, we need to have a build all those things. That's why it won't run. Okay. Okay. This is. Okay, so let's uh, do again. Uh, first compile, then run it. Yeah, now it's perfect working, right? So that's the how to find the factorial. Any factorial you do, it will work. But last one, I want to tell one more. Uh, anyhow, we have a less time also. Let's finish quickly. Uh, write a program to get the to return the factorial by recursion. So recursion is nothing but uh, just uh, calling the same method name in the body. That is called uh, recursion. 
So at the rate, so return and do this uh, public static int get factorial by recursion. So you have to give int number. So first if, so number not equal to zero uh, or number equal to zero. You have to check if it is equal to zero, return one. So otherwise return n multiply by get factorial by just method name you call and number minus one you do it. That's it. This is a simple uh, program. Recursion will reduce, sorry, not number, yes, not n. So we have to give number. So this number multiply by method name you call and you reduce and this keep going, keep going till the number reduces to one. So like that it will uh, iterate. So the same thing you call here. Factorial by recursion plus get factorial by recursion. Let's give four. So just do this. Compile and run the program. See, 24. So this is the total how we can run the programs. Let's do all these programs and uh, share it with me tomorrow, okay? Any questions? Okay, see you tomorrow.